Okay, so here is my old house that I grew up in, 3319 Wisteria Drive here in Point Loma area of San Diego. And as you can probably see, they've done a really nice job upgrading the place. Um, the roof is the same, but they've done, they've changed a lot of other stuff out. Let's just walk inside. I told them I don't like these numbers. They have the nicer kind of modern style on the other side, but it's kind of a funny uh, thing of mine. But anyway, so here's kind of the living room, dining room. You can see a uh, little bit of art on the wall. Here is the realtor, alias um, Meyer, alias the mayor of Point Loma, I think is what they're calling him or something like that. Um, and you can see here is the flyer. So if anyone wants to come by and check it out, uh, if I refer someone, Meyer promised to give me half of his commission. That's right. Yeah, or something, or not. So anyway, um, and you see the kitchen. This used to be the living room area. And uh, I like the backsplash. Um, it looks pretty nice. Uh, I don't know, it seems like it's pretty good quality. You know, everything's kind of about the same these days, but they have a lot more cabinets than we used to. Now again, this was our living room, which is kind of odd in a way. Um, maybe I can make this like zoom out. Does that work better? Yeah, I think it does. So they have kind of an island in here. Um, let's go into the garage. See, they put kind of some neutral flooring in there. They have a laundry room, which we never had. Uh, it's kind of nice. And then here is our garage. They did um, cut a little bit of space out of it, I think, to expand that dining room area. And, um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. You know, it was a lot more cluttered before, but it looks pretty good now. And uh, we'll go out in the backyard for a second, then I'll come back in. So we had grass a long time ago, but it was in pretty bad shape. So they laid down some brand new grass, which is cool. Um, this is my bedroom, or used to be, and uh, the window used to be bigger too. I'll go in there in a minute. And uh, they put in kind of a gazebo, I guess, gazebo, gazebo, and which would be nice. And the lot is huge. The lot is 8,400 square feet, I think. So like if you look down into the canyon, now this is downtown. We're kind of looking straight out toward downtown, Hillcrest, Mission Hills, all that. Um, the lot goes at least to the end of this fence, if you can see that. So um, there's actually a lot of opportunity for somebody to do like a granny flat or build into that. You can see they've kind of done it next door and people have, I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe I'll, you know, do a video from upstairs later. Um, so backyard's looking good. They had some trees in here they took out, but that's fine. This is uh, a little area, nice little sitting area where you, know, you can sit out here, have a barbecue, whatever, you know, which is pretty cool. Um, going back in the house, and there's Meyer again. You used to play rugby, is that right? That's right. Yeah, how many years did you play for? Uh, I played about 10 years. Oh, nice. Years. Okay, so you must have been decent to, right. to last that long. Yeah, you, you're holding up okay physically. I'm all, I'm all broken now, <laughs> so that doesn't... Well, it's, it's a tough sport. I mean, I think football's tough. I told you my dad played football, but rugby, I think, is uh, you got to have... Uh, Put some hair on your chest. I would say area. so, yeah, for sure. Very good. Um, so this area was the kitchen, and was the kitchen, and you can see it is uh, a smaller bedroom. This would be good for, you know, a guest, or it could be an office space, or for some kids, I would say. Um, this used to be my sister's room and they have taken it and converted it into a bathroom and you can see it's um it's pretty nice i think it looks a lot nicer than it did when it was my sister's room i'll tell you that much it's got a full-size tub and um yeah i like the i like the backsplash um it looks pretty good the wood looks nice let's let's go down the hall and so and then i'll go up to the loft in a minute so this was my bedroom and it's about the same size. The windows are a little bit different. Um, I did used to have a closet here, so it looks like they've they've gotten rid of the closet. And uh, now I think they have a walk-in closet in my mother. So that looks like what they did. They did quite a bit of work on this place. I think they've, they've put quite a lot of money and time into it, really. And uh, this used to be my mother's bedroom. It's the master bedroom. Uh, it looks very nice, and uh, she didn't used to have her own bathroom, but guess what? Now there's a bathroom, it's a master bathroom, I guess, and it looks pretty good. It doesn't have a shower, but it's got a really nice um, enclosure that I think looks good, and I think the colors look pretty good too. Now let's, let's, check, out the, um, let's check out the closet in here. So again, we used to have some cabinetry up high. It looks like they kinda 
They made this bigger, they got rid of that cabinetry and then they put this nice closet, but you can see it's got a lot of room here. And uh, I wouldn't have mind having that actually. So let's shut the door and we'll go out onto the deck. And then I think the last place I will go is um, up on the, up in the loft area. The loft area is kind of interesting. It was just a storage area. I mean, we'd keep our old artificial Christmas trees and things like that. You can see the view is actually really nice, isn't it? You know, from up here, right? Um, off to the left, the bigger building you see, that used to be Sharp Cabrillo Hospital. Um, I'm not sure what it is now. I, I shouldn't say this because I used to be a police officer, but we used to throw dirt clods at some of the police officers when I was little from up at the top of the canyon from the neighbors, right? And not very nice, I know, but hey, what can I tell you? It was the 60s, right? So uh, anyway, you can see the view and, uh, you know, from the tree next door, you get a lot of shade. Now we'll go ahead and exit that and go up into the loft area. Now there is a spiral staircase. So let's go up that. Let's try to record and not fall down the stairs. That would be a, a great video. So it's not too many stairs. It's not, in my opinion, very hard to get up here. It does have rails and that kind of thing. So again, this was an unfinished area. We just had storage. Um, you can see now it's a loft and you know, they put, I don't love the table they put here necessarily, but big deal, you can put whatever you want there. You know, I kind of recommended putting some kitty stuff, but whatever, you know, you could use it as a man cave. You could use it as a bedroom. You could use it for kids, whatever you want. Um, let's take a look out this window, get a little bit different view from here. And again, you can see Sharp Cabrillo, what used to be Sharp Cabrillo Hospital. You can spy on your neighbors if you want. Anything exciting going on over there? I don't see anything. And uh, you do have to watch not to bump your head, but you know, it's pretty, it's fine. So let's just go ahead and head back outside and then I'll just kind of sign off. Um, so this is the home that I grew up in. Uh, 3319 Wisteria Drive in San Diego. It's point Loma 92106. Um, hey, I made it down the stairs without falling. I think they did a great job. I think, uh, Meyer, I'll probably put this on YouTube. So if anyone, you know, if it helps you sell the place, uh, uh, you know, we can get a little cut of it, right? No, you don't owe me anything, of course. <laughs> Let's just walk outside for a minute. Um, I don't know, should I even mention, if somebody does buy it, there may be money from the airport authority. Do you know about that? So there was for us. I don't know about for a new buyer. I don't know if they'd need it. Uh, but, they can, yeah. Yeah. Is a possibility. They told us at the time, and, and this is not Meyer making any representation, but when we originally looked into it, it was like 60, 70, 80,000 potentially. So it was quite a bit. And, and But there's not a lot the place needs right now. So I really don't know. But that could be something for somebody to consider, you know, uh, at least. So uh, one last look around the place. We're going to walk out front. And uh, looks like they did a pretty good job. You can see the neighborhood here. And it's a nice, quiet neighborhood, except for playing every now and then, but it's not too bad. See, we got a cul-de-sac. Again, good place for people to play, kids to play. There's not a lot of traffic that comes through. So this is the house I grew up in, 3319 Wisteria Drive in San Diego. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I guess I will sign off now. Bye-bye.